Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. And we're no longer in the Crystal Islands. We are we're actually on the island. The island. And a couple of reasons. Uh, the first one is uh, Crystal Isles runs really buggy for me. I'm having extreme amounts of sound issues. So, yeah, it's just it's getting too annoying to keep playing. That and I do actually kind of want to go through the story of Ark. At least through all the progression and everything like that. And to do that, the place to start is the island. So I don't know if Crystal, you know, Crystal Isles will let me do that or not, but uh, let's see. I did do quite a bit of tweaking with my settings and whatnot, so hopefully this game also runs better. Well, actually, it runs great. It just records like crap. <laughs> so um, uh, let's see. I need a smithy though. So, same character, but whenever I came over, I had pretty much like no items. Actually, I had just the the standard crappy ones you start off with, or not the crappy ones, the uh, skins that you always end up with. So, metal and throw some wood in there. Go ahead and get that lit up. And team it to my first thing, Dodo, who just would not go away. So. Basically just punched him out and gave him, I think, two major berries and he tamed. So I was like, eh, whatever. And I have blueberry, actually. Let's go ahead and grab those back. We're going to make him commit cannibalism. You are, like... I thought that was really bad, like, shiny bits to his feathers. That's actually white spots. Okay. And got some meat cooking. We're on the western side of the aisle. Let's see if I can... Yep, right about there. It actually spawned me further north in the uh, the ice biome, which was a lot of fun getting down here because I got chased by... Oh, let's see, what was it? A saber cat. Then it was two T-Rexes. Then a pack of hyenas. <laughs> and then a sarco. Yeah, it was fun. And then I got over here and I had to deal with the raptor. So, fun times, actually. But I was trying to record my introduction when all that happened, and I just simply decided that, you know, the constant panic running away from everything just doesn't make for a great first video, right? Get plenty of wood. This is just going to be my little, like, starter area. Close to water, which is wonderful, actually. And, uh... Not too many dangerous things around here. Uh, the worst I come across was like a level 20-something raptor, which... He, last I checked, was in the ocean. So... I was running along the cliff trying to get away from him, and he just... He kind of derped up and walked off himself. He's down there somewhere. He's like bright green too, so if he comes back, I'll recognize him. Oh, well, that's something, but not him. All right. So yeah, trying to get back up to the at least close to the level of technology I was at, which honestly wasn't great because. I was having too much fun exploring and whatnot, and not actually making a base or anything. All right, so I want a smithy now. I need need hide and stone. Okay, well, stone's not gonna be a problem. I'm literally surrounded by stone. I have nothing in there. My campfire just burned out. Uh, seven more cooked meat. Yeah, sure. I'll just leave the rest of it in there for now. It comes the fun part of trying to find, trying to find some hide. And let's see. Oh, there's a Bronto. I think not. And I love a way to turn off like object reflection in the water. You know, the light and everything is kind of nice, but, you know, 
you can see all the ripples and everything. But when you can like see the leaves from this tree right in front of you reflecting out on the horizon, not so much. And I've noticed people with computers far better than mine have the same pretty much issue. All right, uh, let's go ahead and make some extra spears here. And we're gonna poke the turtle in the butt. So. Oh, uh, yep. Okay. Getting my timing wrong. Oh, I'm on a rock. I'm gonna die. Okay, we're out. We're out. <laughs> I got cornered. Uh, axe for hide, right? I think I have enough hide to actually make the smithy now. Good. 33 hide off of one turtle. That's not bad. And go ahead and get some more to eat here. These have metal in them. Uh, let's see. Now I just need, I need some stone. Okay. Oh. I got a lot of it laying around, so I figure why not? Probably in the neighborhood of about twenty, I should be okay. Hey, look at that. And yeah, I ended up with double the height I needed. But, there we go. And... Whoop, yeah, let's just jump right off. Right off the platform there. There we go. These foundations are here just so I can place furniture down. Some of you. Some of you. Definitely some of you. Right. And, okay, you're actually done cooking up the metal, so I don't need to waste that wood. Uh, let's see. Weapons. Melee. Oh, oh, I didn't put enough hide in. Okay. But metal pick. Metal axe. And what is it going to take to make myself a crossbow? I don't know. Just more iron. Okay, cool. Well, that's not a problem, and I can get more of that. I keep saying iron, even though it's just generic metal, but... Yeah, you know, kind of is what it is, right? Okay, I thought this would have metal in it. I guess not. Just flint and stone in that one. Hmm. How about you? Yep, nope. Hmm. I think I actually mined out most of the metal rocks around here. Oh, there's some at the bottom of the river, though. Alright, let's get some air. My stamina is actually getting kind of low, too. Hey, sweet. More metal. These rocks aren't the greatest for metal, but they, uh, they get the job done. And there's a lot of them here, so... So, a lot of a poor resource is still a decent amount of resource. I am tired now. Oh well. Uh, 
a little deeper than I thought it was right next to the bank. And I'm just making my torpidity rise right now. You know, one thing I've never tried is if you can actually make yourself pass out doing this. I mean, my vision's getting all blurry. Looks like I could, but it's going to take a really long time to get my, uh, my torpidity up high enough to actually make me pass out. And we're good for now, I think. Alright, and... There you go. Be 15 more ingots. That should be enough for a crossbow, at least. And... And then, see, what I want to do is I want to make a base by the redwoods towards the center of the... Actually, in the center of the island. Uh, two reasons. One is, it's close to the center of the island. It's close to... Uh, well, it's as close as you can get to every important location in the map. Plus, there's, you know... Is there, like, Red Mountain or whatever it is? Right there that has all the uh, wonderful... It's got a bunch of iron on it. Oh, I need more... I need lots of hide is what my problem is right now. So let's go ahead and put these tools in here for now. I'm going to put my narcos in there because they will expire slower at least. And one thing I love is how fast I craft arrows. That'll get me up to like what, four? Yeah. So what am I short on for more arrows? Probably fiber. Yep. Yeah, if I can get the hide together to make a mortar and pestle, I can start making narcotic, which would be awesome. And then I can start actually taming things. And I found a drop pod, yellow one. Not too far away from here, actually, and it had a Megalodon saddle on it. So I'm definitely thinking that that would be a fun tame. And I wonder how close I can actually get a Megalodon to the Redwoods. I think the rivers do kind of connect enough that I could. I'm just not sure if there's any sandbars or anything that go across the rivers that would, that would keep me from, you know, piloting one pretty far in stream, you know, in stream, upstream or inland. So when you try to say two words at once and completely just monkey everything up. Alright, so let's go ahead and make some more arrows. Uh, 47 more? Or 43 more? I can live with that. And my metal should be cooked up enough that I can make a crossbow. So let's go ahead and do that. I made a bow and I've never shot it. But at least they're somewhat handy, you know, anti-raptor weapons. All right, let's go and get the thing cocked up. All right. And let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and shut this off, I think, for now. I don't particularly need it running when I'm gone because it's just going to waste fuel. There's not enough iron in there, okay, yeah, not enough metal in there to uh, to leave it running for long periods of time. And it'll just eventually burn through all the wood and then call it, you know, and then be done. So let's see. Oh, there's a dodo. Hello, dodo. Goodbye, Dodo. I did not attack you. All right, I killed the Demorpodon, thank God. Ugh. Those things are actually pretty damn nasty, especially if we try taming them. 
There it goes. Hey, it's a red pedal booby. All right, and you're dead. All right, are there any more like dodos around here? I'm not really seeing any. But I am kind of curious about this green drop. Because that actually might be in, like... Well, I've gotten narcotic out of them before, and I've gotten trank arrows. So... How deep is this thing? Pretty deep, and... Like, really deep. There's a Megalodon, like, right next to it. Oh, hey, you. Wow. You're all just saying hello, aren't you? Actually, I want to pick for this, don't I? Eh, oh, well, didn't matter. Oh, and the drop just went away anyways. Okay. Oh, hey, Dodos. Yeah, five hide. That's not a whole lot. Nine. No one had more. Let's see if I can keep from dying while I go up here. Let's see if I can even get up here. There we go. Oh, hey, there's parasaurs. And there's a Therizinosaurus, Carbonimus, is that an Iguanodon? Oh, that's an Iguanodon. You are a little either weirdly decorated or bloody. Level 73 though. Hell yeah, I want you. And... Over this way is like right above my my starter platform. Oh, okay, well that's a dilo. That's not a bad thing, I guess. Hey. Level one hundred dilo. That's an over raptor, so I don't have to worry about you. Oh, poop. Okay. So yeah, there's my starter platform there. Hello, Dilos. Uh, you are probably the closer one. Wow. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that could have gone better. That really could have gone better. And... Oh, yeah, hi. I have gotten a little bit of experience with fighting dialogues anyway. See, I would like to have had the compies for pets, but I don't have prime meat yet, so... That is like the biggest shame, too. Is it? Okay. Is that you need... 
You need prime meat to tame them. Yeah, let's go ahead and more food. I did see something like bright green and red. Okay. <laughs> Chalicotherium, I think. Galicotherium. I was right in your neck, wasn't it? Oh, and you just ran down the hill. Well, that was great. <laughs> there was a gap I didn't see. And... See, it shows down here to the south of where I died, right? Which is right next to my house. I guarantee it's going to spawn me up there. Oh, wow. No, it didn't. Spawn me by the Bronto. Who just pooped. See, now, a fun thing is, I'm going to have to get my stuff back somehow. You are, like, bright green. And... Yeah, I died in the waterfall. I think I died... Oh, no, I guess it was at the bottom. Okay, I thought I died, like, up rock halfway down the waterfall. Toss that, toss all of these, all the skins I don't need. There's one Parasaur. I think that's the one I shot too. Smile. Oh, there's a little cave behind the waterfall. That's cool. Nothing there, but just a little opening. And I think the other pair is probably long gone by now. Oh, it's a Hespornis. They, uh... They get cranky if you get too close. Or if they wander close to you. But if you attack them, they just pretty much run away, so. But hello, organic polymer. Alright, let's go ahead and... 114 more raw meat. I have a single piece of thatch. Wow. But I've got enough hide now, I should be able to make a mortar. Yep. Let's see. And that would make us up to seven organic polymer. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and grab that. Toss you guys into there. What do we got in here? Two more pieces. That's like a whole whopping three Trank Arrows. Not the greatest. So let's try to make, if I can, this thing. Uh, I need fiber and thatch. Okay. I just saw something moving over here. Something small that I could, you know, murderize. I don't 
to go take a look over here at the ridge where the Bronto is. Let's see if maybe there's a way I can kill it. Because that would solve like all my hide issues for the immediate time. Because I'm thinking that if I want to like speed up the production of berries or whatever, I should probably get like a para. Although at the same time, I would not mind having a moss chops. Um, yeah, no, he can come up this slope pretty easily. Although there is this Parasaur down here. So if I poke him in the butt, do you think he's just going to keep moving forward? The answer to that was mostly yes. And did I ever learn an Iguanodon saddle? Uh, yes, and actually I can make it. Somehow I ended up with 200 hide as well, so... But, I mean, that means that I can go tame that Iguanodon up there, which they are really good early game mounts, so... And they're pretty decent at collecting berries. Oh, he turned to attack me and I missed completely. Boom, headshot. There's more hide, and I have no idea that one ever went. Oh well. Hey, there we go. Toss more of that into there. And make ourselves the meat spoiler. And sure, why not? I'll just toss that in there. Now, how you doing, Blueberry? Oh, hey, you leveled up twice. Now, 138 hit points. You're unstoppable. And then some more of that, and 12 more. So that'll get me 15 Trank Arrows. That should be enough to take out an Iguanodon, I think. I can leave my Megalodon saddle behind, too. I'm not going to go tame one of those guys yet. I'll have a crossbow, so, I mean, that would definitely help. And it's still just as slow as I remember. Alright, so... Would it be easier to get up maybe the side of the cliff? Uh, about the same distance, really. Alright, well, I'll come back whenever I'm ready to uh, attempt taming that Iguanodon. Alright, after. Uh, I killed it! Amazing. It's not the one I saw earlier either. So, that guy's still around. Yeah, that was close. But I won. Yeah, I know. Spoils victory and all that. So yeah, I was heading to go get the Iguanodon, and it's like, oh, look. Had enough time to start backpedaling, hit the record button, Megalodon in the water, and uh, get my crossbow up and ready. And that was kind of about it, really. At least I'm healing somewhat. Just watch this be like like four dialos or something waiting for me. 
No, just a bunch of turtles. Wow. That's very Christmassy now, isn't it? I almost want to take that guy out just because he's an eyesore. There we go. Get that wonderful healing buff going. I didn't get it that time, huh? You can only get it so often, too, which is a bit of a shame. And let's go ahead and load up our Trank Arrows. Now, if I knew that Raptor was there, I could have gotten him probably put down as well. You know, get him all kinds of tranked up. But pretty soon here, we'll be able to uh, have something better for berry collecting anyway, which is a big help. Dude, why are you by the Therizinosaur? Like, really, like right next to the damn thing. All right. What we're going to do... Oh, no, you, you're far enough away now. I can probably get away with this. I hit the damn tree. Oh, hello, bugs. There's a stego over there, too. why I make an extra bullet, folks, because I know my aim. And you're down. Okay, a lot more bugs than I thought there were. What else is getting me? Okay, this is always level 104. Yeah, I was going to say, this one's a lot tougher than the other ones. Mmm, bug meat. Okay. Definitely start stockpiling the chitin for now. How you doing? 21%, okay. Yeah, we'll be doing okay, I think. Oh, Demorphodon, okay. All right, we're going to take out some revenge on this stinking tree that blocked my bola. Actually, it was this one, wasn't it? Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, let's just drop a tree on the Iguanodon. That's great. All right, so I definitely want to get my hands on this tickle chicken eventually. But... No, 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 no. no we're good. We're cool. We're cool. A, I don't have a good good area to shoot from. I mean, that rock might work, but I don't think it's tall enough, honestly. And I definitely don't have enough Trank Arrows to put down a Therizinosaur. Eh, I could probably put this guy down, though, in the meantime. Oh, I shot the tech pair. I didn't even know it was over there. Got him. Wow. Actually made that long range shot. I was amazed. I can drag these guys? Wow. I'm encumbered when I do it, but... That's kind of cool. I didn't realize I could drag... I think it's based off of your carry capacity. I didn't think mine was high enough to actually be able to drag that guy. And let's see, we got a saddle on us. Good. Bright red female. I'll be Scarlet. I think I'm going to call you that. 
Wow, okay, she's actually reflecting off my axe. That's cool, I didn't realize that. It's all the little things, right? Okay, I see you there. Eighty-three percent. So if she's tame, we can get the hell out of here. But I'm thinking I might try to do like a I don't know, like a Noah's Ark thing. Get two of everything, a male and a female. I think it could be fun. Especially, well, two of everything that could be tamed. There are two Therizinosaurs up here. Okay. All right, one more, and then she can eat, and then we can get away from this guy who's just been stalking everywhere. He's technically peaceful, but if he gets aggravated if you get too close to him. Scarlet. Scarlet, I'm going to hop on your back now. 450 weight capacity, almost 1,000 health. She's level 107. Cool. All right. And she's fast. Definitely faster than I am. And she's great at goblin berries. Yeah, she's got two different stances. There's, you know, quadruped and biped. Quadruped, she's faster. Biped, she can attack. And if you attack, she automatically goes here. And she can jump. Damn, five narco berries off just that one bush there. So. Now, is there like a slope around here I could like run down? Oh, there's that green beacon in the water again. Oh, she go poo. Yeah, this is all like just sheer cliff here. And she does she's got a pretty good turning radius on her too. Alright, how are you with Ash gathering? Pretty good actually. Hey, you should level up. Cool. Hello, Trike. Well, that's a raptor. We're going this way, I think. Yeah, she takes out trees pretty good, too, actually. I'm glad I decided to bolo her instead of trying to uh, just trank her and, you know, try to, you know, to tank the hits while, while I'm waiting for the narcotics to kick in, because <laughs> I probably would have been destroyed. Now, the thing is, she can usually take on raptors pretty decently by herself. I just don't want to risk losing her, like, right after I got her. But we are definitely, we're going to be upping your movement speed. 141 narcotic berries, huh? Narco berries. Awesome. I actually need more uh, rotten meat now. Actually, here, let's just go ahead and toss that and, like, half of that in there. How are we doing here? Uh, 
Oh, 31 rotten meat's not bad, I guess. Yeah, she's definitely going to be a huge help, though, for, uh, for starting out. Thing is, she's got, like, almost human looking eyes, too. It's weird. Yeah, I'm going to grab those for personal use. You can have those, though. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, uh, even with the change that happened. And until next time, the sign signing out. Have fun.